Hi, okay, so I'm back. This is part two of doing the um, gray um, to go in that necklace with the, um, this is with the Jasper. So um, this one we left off where we had strung along um, and put the, basically the wiring in the Jasper. And, um, and I just gotta pinch the bottom just a little bit more, but I kinda just leave that on the bottom as a little design. Um, there, like just a little wire twisting, basically. Um, and just kind of push that in there so it doesn't pick or anything. It's kind of nice. Okay, so that looks good. And I use some smaller rings to get that in there. So um, let me do that. We're going to do these little teeny tiny ones right here. And just open them up. Just like that. And put that one on the Jasper. And put this one on there. Second ring. Close that up. Pinch it so it's a little tight there. And then get that second one hooped. So here's my to go in that with that initial little um, ring on it right there. Put it in. And so I'm just going to hook that right on there. And there it is. I put two rings to hang it so it hangs pretty nice right there. And this one's got such beautiful red, gray some green in it. I mean, talk about gorgeous. It really pulls the colors even from the back. And this to go in that has a really nice pattern there on the side. I don't know if you could see that, but it's really cute. So th this one's going to be a super nice one. I mean, this one is gorgeous. And then um, I've got my cord, my leather cord, which is pretty soft suede. So it's not, you know, suede is amazing for people that like have issues with chain and like you know, stuff like that, because there's people that do have issues with chains, so I just put that in there, and then I'm going to just squeeze that shit, but, um, yeah, you know, because, you know, if you sweat a lot, or so forth, sometimes, you know, you can't really, um, you know, some people have a hard time using metal, so sometimes the leather is, is nice, or fabric, we might have to do a bigger one on this one, it looks like, this is just too big of a, uh, looks like it's just too big of a hole, too deep a hole to, to kind of work. That's what it looks like. We'll see right now. See what we can do. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really like it so tight. Okay, so we're going to have to use a different ring for that one. Some of these, the first one, the big ring worked, but um, some of these, it's just too big. The, the hole's too deep down, so the ring can't fully catch there, but I have a solution for that. I have some bigger rings. Ta-da! So these are some pretty big colored rings. And actually, I have brown, which is going to look just awesome. So I'm going to take a couple of these brown ones out. And they're almost like a copper. Look at that. I mean, look at how cute the color that is. That is really nice. Isn't that nice? I think it's super nice. Anyhow, that is pretty cute. So we're going to switch that up to that and just hope that that fits in the hole. So... Um, yeah, so, you know, I mean, hey, when you're, when you're making jewelry, you just kind of, you know, like I said, I'm, I've never had a class or anything like that, so I just kind of do it with it, ex experimenting, you know, I mean, who doesn't, I've learned a lot of stuff like that, I mean, refinishing furniture, um, you know, basically doing, um, sewing, I mean, sewing, I've sewn curtains, all that, it's all just, you know, I don't know, just back then we used to get books and magazines. Now it's, you know, the internet. 
you can see somebody do it on YouTube or you can just whip it out and if you want run into a problem then go to YouTube so I think I'm more kind of a trial and error okay so here we go I'm gonna open this ring and this one like that and hopefully right here in this 10 minute video we're gonna get to finish this um, this whole thing right here oh come on get in there oh, this might need some so this is gonna need to kind of open up a little bit more and you know what they sell a tool for that but I'm just gonna do it kind of a with a little thing on my own and just kind of try and open that up a little bit more it's just a teeny mini little um, screwdriver so I'm just gonna push it through and just open that up a little bit more and, and it's opening up so I'll just be a little careful yeah the holes just not big enough um, on this one but we're gonna make it bigger and I think my chihuahuas are snoring in the background I really do do, do you guys do your guys chihuahuas snore let me tell you I my little girl I mean she snores up a little storm a matter of fact I should probably get her on right now I mean she really let me see who's snoring there Oh, it's my boy dog. He's snoring. Rocky. Okay, let's see. So, almost there, I think. Bingo. Now I went through. Okay. Let's grab this one, put it in. Oh, come on. Let's work for us. Really? Okay, still not big enough. So I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Okay, that should work. Bingo. Okay. We got it. And then, so there we are, right on there. Just like that, that big one. Hopefully I didn't bend it too much. And then, um, let me see, we got the ring. So, get that on. We've got the leather that we'll be able to put through at any time. Is this the right size? Let me see, this is supposed to be 24. 24. Okay. Anyways, we can put that on any time. So, we're going to bend this right back to where we hopefully can get it so it looks good oh, yeah. I don't know might have bent this too much out of shape we'll see here okay here we are so I think we got it okay so how's that look at that pretty good huh not bad so it's on the nice nice big brown um, loop right there it's got the big brown one which is nice it's got the Jasper which is really cute with all the colors and I think you can see the Jasper pretty good now right there with that Taguanut and that's the back of the Taguanut actually right there so that's really nice and then we're gonna finish off the tips which is pretty easy I you know what you can pinch these or you can use glue I'm using these ones so you know to do the leather because it's pretty easy to do it there's already one um, little cord thing connected there so we're gonna just do that and slip that Pretty much right on there let me see get that in there let 
Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the E6000 on the leather. And, um, and then I'll cut one side because it doesn't need to be that long. So I'll put a little E on both sides. Close that up. This stuff dries up quick, I'll tell you. I love E6000, but it dries up fast. I mean, you got to really use that stuff. That's why sometimes I buy a bunch of those tiny ones. But when you buy the tiny ones, they tend to, um, you know, I mean, you use them up quick. And it's like, okay, and I think we're pretty good right there. That looks pretty nice. And we're going to get, um, let me see. So we have the loop right here with it. It's a big loop. And we're going to put with this one. And I'm using this big old chain that this because you know why when these are necklaces are like for men you know men have big fingers and I think they kind of have a hard time you know in you see have you ever seen a man trying to get that tiny little clasp on you know when he's doing and I mean those are not meant for men those are those are tiny so I got this one okay so there it is right there put the finishing it's right on there that's the piece and um, it's got that on there, so we're ready. And then we're just going to finish measure again to cut a little bit because it's going to be a 20. We'll make it a 22, actually, because men tend to like a little bit more space, you know, they have bigger necks. So we're going to do this one and a little bit of E6000 on the tip again. get my other little swirly type end let's see where to go here it is and squeeze that one on there we're gonna get right here so I pull this up right here actually all right so I'm just kind of twisting it on there so I see that leather tip at the top there. It's not quite there yet. Almost. Okay. And that's pretty good right there. Look at that. So that's pretty darn good. It's almost right in there at the tip. So we're going to get this one. Put the little... Um, and this one's kind of an oval um, shape that comes with the little lobster clasp. See that? Kind of an oval shape. It's nice. Those are nice too, the little ovals, because they, they actually kind of are easier to... Instead of the big circle, they kind of hold on the neck a little easier I think okay so I'm gonna get that one open it up and let me see where I've got the little lobster clasp at get this one here Ew. Sometimes when you get a lot of stuff on the table, you're kind of like, where did it go? And it's probably right in front of me. One second. Okay. So we'll just grab another one. So I'm going to do this big one like that, kind of a bigger, um, see there? So pretty good. Put that one in there. Close this up. So I'm going to have a couple of these on um, Etsy. 
you know, so these, these will be up for sale with Jasper and Tegua Nut, which is nice, with this nice brown um, nut, of course. And look at that, all done. Look at there. There it is, all finished up. And there's the clasp right there, really large, so you can't miss it. I mean, who can't miss that? I mean, look at that. That thing is huge right there. It's really good. And this is the necklace right there, really cute. So it'll look fantastic for men, look there, or girls, whatever. Yeah, nice. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will be back, and um, maybe next time I'll have my little model. I think she's sleeping on the job right now, though. But anyhow, I will see you next time, and I hope you have an amazing day, and keep it positive.